Okay, they're near Ray. Oh, I feel weird. Are you trapped here? No. Stop. First couple of months working here, I was round in the bar and uh, four Foster's glasses, just one after the other, two on the floor. Oh. Yeah, I got goosebumps all over okay. my body, fear, and I was in somehow in danger. You do hear voices, footsteps, yeah, people yeah. moving, whispers. Hello? Who are you? Yeah. Are you down here with us now? It's almost like they're coming in touch and then walk And then they're walking off from you, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Oh, oh. It's right here. It's right here. They're standing there. There. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> that just fell off in its own accord. Yeah. I can't explain that. We return to the cloisters, a place born of desires and dreams in the serene heart of Letchworth Garden City. In 1905, this monumental edifice, drenched in mysteries, was conceived as an open-air school of psychology and art, orchestrated by the enigmatic Quaker Annie Jane Lawrence. It became a fulcrum for cultivating sharp minds that echoed the principles of the arts and crafts movement. But as whispers of war began to haunt Europe, the serene melodies of organized concerts were replaced by the solemn echoes of the Second World War. The cloisters were commandeered by the army and left with scars of conflict, physical and spectral, a reminder of an age long past. Annie Lawrence, too tenacious to let her dream crumble, gifted it to the Freemasons in 1951. Today, over 60 Masonic lodges continue to weave enigmatic tales within the hallowed walls. Yet, within these timeless walls, a darker narrative lurks, invisible to curious eyes, yet audible to attuned ears. Mystifying footsteps echoing in the desolate halls, EMF readings, whispers of spectral voices when mortal souls vacate the edifice. It was here, during our first encounter, we heard Annie's ethereal voice through the spirit box, a spectral whisper softly proclaiming her contentment that a certain staff member works here by uttering the word yes to our question. Kate hey, loves working here. Are you happy about that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. These chilling anomalies unfolded during our previous investigation, indicating we were not alone. Deep beneath the majestic structure lies a labyrinth of ancient tunnels, rooms, and corridors, a cold, unnerving maze that harbors eerie spectres from another time. For years, these have remained abandoned, unseen, slept to the lullabies of the darkness. Haunting voices echo in greeting late into the night, leading many to believe that Miss Lawrence herself continues to dwell within her creation.
as we delve into the realms of the unseen, brace yourself for the further investigations at the cloisters, a place where the boundary separating the physical and spectral realms blurs, dropping us into the twilight of the supernatural. Well, it's another dark, cold evening. This time, we're back in Letchworth Garden City, at the Cloisters. Now, all sorts of strange things happened here last time we were here. Staff have since reported extra stuff going on. I mean, what is going on here? We're here to investigate. My name's Ray Cordell. This is Bev Kinsey. This is Tony Prezio. We are Hitchin TV's. Ha <laughs> ha